10 amazing games you can play on almost any PC. This is a video about games that are 2GB RAM or less. Do you struggle to find good PC games to play because you have a low end system? This list will give you 10 amazing games that you can play in almost any PC. If you have spent even a little time in the gaming community, then you have probably heard this statement. And to some degree, you can't deny that using PC is the most versatile way to game. But that does not mean that it's the best option for all gamers. While PC allows you to play almost any game on any graphics setting you want, you first have to have the money for an excellent computer, right? But for those who want to still play games with what they have, meaning a 2GB RAM, then this is definitely the video for you. So if you know anybody who is in this situation, I've tried out them games before and it really works. Okay, let's start talking about top 10 amazing games you can play on almost any PC, 2GB RAM or less. Number 10, Don't Starve. The size is uh, 1 GB RAM, 1 plus GB RAM, developed by Kelly Entertainment. This survival game looks like something right out of the Tim Burton film. You can choose one of many characters, each of which has special qualities to them. The primary goal is to survive the best that this uh, uncompromisingly harsh world. The art style of Don't Starve is a dark and alluring 2D style that is set in the 3D world. It sounds strange at first. Just look at this gameplay. It kind of makes sense, right? The world allows you to turn and change perspective in any direction, making it feel more real and immersive. The game offers a rich crafting style based on both science and magic. Gather all the resources you can, but do so before night time. Yay! Number 9. Bastion. The space requirement is a 2GB RAM. Bastion is a game developed by Supergiant Games. This action RPG plops player into a beautifully lush world, complete with hand-painted artwork and a deeply compelling story. You play as the kid, during what the voice narrator calls the Great Calmighty. Your world is falling apart and your civilization is crumbling to pieces. Your only hope is to restore the Bastion. Bastion is a place where everyone is supposed to go when things go horribly wrong. The game is smooth and polished. You have a choice over 10 different weapons to play with at any given time, each of which pairs differently with others and is better for cartoon playstyles. As you proceed through the game and advance the story, you will begin to unlock even more options and upgrades. Gotta hold her still to spin up the chamber. Number 8. Minecraft. Minecraft is a 2GB RAM. I know, I know. Minecraft really doesn't need any introduction. But I added it because it is a great game that deserves mention. Even if some might consider it overrated or overdone. Minecraft is a 3D sandbox survival game developed by Mojang. You are plopped into a randomly generated world, comprised of nothing but blocks of different type and textures. Your goal, or the closest to one, is to survive long enough to find a portal that takes you to a different dimension to kill the Ender Dragon. Though this is the closest that Minecraft comes to in creating a set goal, there really isn't one. One of the game's biggest component in survival mode is crafting. Almost every single block out there can be used to create something different or new. You can craft armor, tools, weapons, different blocks, food and even more. Number 7. Friend Bow I just have to put a game in here for you point and click fans out there. Friend Bow was developed and published by Kill Monday Games. This point and click adventure game will have you going everywhere, solving puzzles and exploring amazing worlds. I have to give you a fair warning though. This game is uh, really messed up. I'm pretty sure that you will need a psychological help after playing. Okay, all kidding aside, Friend Bow is a very charming game and many people can enjoy. The 2D art style of Friend Bow is definitely very quirky and adds to an overall feel of the game. You play as Friend, if that wasn't obvious. A girl is in a mental asylum after the murder of her parents. You have to work your way through elaborate puzzles to find your way out of the asylum, taking many drugs along the way. Number 6. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas 
This game requires 256 MB RAM. This game is pretty old, I admit. Is it a bit of a cop out? Yes. Do I make an apology for it? No. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, developed by Rockstar North, is an amazing game and one of my favorite of all time. Besides, I never said that this list would only contain recent games, just good ones. And Grand Theft Auto San Andreas is a game that undoubtedly falls in this category. San Andreas have you playing a character called Carl Johnson, CJ to his friends? CJ returned home after the murder of his mother. After a life of running away from his past as a gang member, he is forcefully put back into his gang life upon his return. You will go from a nobody gangster to one of the most powerful person in San Andreas, fighting your way up every step of the way. Your moms would be proud. Say hi to your brother for me. Number 5. Straw Drew Valley. Uh, this game is 2GB RAM. Straw Drew is an amazing game developed by Concerned Ape and published by Chungly Fish Games. If you like games that completely draw you in, make you lose hours of the day, then this is the game for you. Straw Drew Valley is a farming simulator game similar to Harvest Moon with quite a few RPG elements in there. You play as the hire to the little farmer left to you by your grandfather and it's your job to take care of it and make it flourish once again. Not only can you farm different kind of crops, animals, flowers, honey, crustacean and extra, but you can also catch fish, develop into the mines, make friends, build your farm up, craft and a whole lot more. There's a reason this game can stock up so many hours of your time and just playing it will show you why. Number 4 The Banner Saga 1 and 2 The requirement is 2GB RAM The Banner Saga was developed by Stotix This gameplay is The Banner Saga 2 Just letting you know Yes, this technically counts as 2 games But they are just so good that I have to lump them in together If you are looking for a story that's reminiscent to Game of Thrones But with no theme and uh, true best combat Then these games are for you The sun has stopped dead in the sky An Asian dragon called Dreadgear suddenly emerged from below the surface of the earth The alliance between humans and giant haunt humans who live for hundreds of years is fragile and with the dragon returning it will only become more strained you play as a cast of a few people and it is your job to navigate the crumbling world around you number three the Blinding of Isaac, all versions. The game is 2GB RAM. The Blinding of Isaac is a very different Roger-like game with a steep learning curve. If you like games that don't hold your hand and can keep you occupied for hundreds upon hundreds of hours, then look no further than this indie gym. Boy doesn't have said story per see some people schedule on the true nature of what is going on. If, however, you take the game at face values, the story seems simple. Isaac is a young boy who was tormented by his overly religious mother. In a fit of religious zeal, she tries to kill him and he escapes via a trap door in uh, his room that leads to the basement. From here you go lower and lower, fighting hordes of different enemies. Number 2 Salt and Sensory. The game is uh, 2GB RAM. If you haven't seen the first impression of Salt and Sensory, then I highly recommend you to do so if you want more information on it. SAS is a brutally different game developed by Scar Studios. It basically feels just like a Dark Soul game, except with its own world and art style. The story of SAS is uh, pretty basic, as you would expect from a game aligned to the Soul series. Of course, the world has its own law and such, but your character is basically a nobody. You start off as a sailor then uh, shipwreck on the coast of uh, an unknown island from there you will traverse the world fighting to survive each step of the way enemies can be unforgivably brutal and you might find yourself using the dodge mechanic a few hundred times per hour
Number one, Guild Wars 2. Uh, it's a 2GB RAM game. Guild Wars 2 is a MMORPG developed by Arana Net and published by Nansoft. And depending on who you ask, it's either the best or worst thing since WOW. I'm a massive fan of this game and I play it daily. The story of Guild War 2 is pretty vast and quite hard to summarize, but I will do my best. The Elder Dragon have arisen once more after their long slumber to devote Triver's magic in game world. You along with some help, will take the fight to each and every one of them. Honestly, because it's an uh, MMO and one that have been out for nearly 5 years too, the mechanics are just way too vast to cover in this limited space. Just take my word for it here guys. Guild Wars 2 revolutionize many MMO concepts and take core mechanics to another level. Anyways guys, we have come to the end of this video. If you are new, why not consider hitting the subscribe button. And also don't forget to hit the like button and I will see you guys next time on my next video. Bye, peace out.